Discover nature's beautiful math and art. It's a better and more beautiful way to learn. Look at the branching structure of a fern or a tree. The branching structure repeats at smaller and smaller scales. Try drawing this simple branching structure at smaller and smaller scales. One variation of that pattern creates a tree, another one creates a fern. All of these are fractals, meaning the pattern repeats at smaller and smaller sizes. Another variation of this branching pattern creates a leaf pattern, which is basically a miniature tree. As you can see if you do a rubbing, you end up with a little tree pattern. And the roots on the other side. It's like a mirror image, a mirror symmetry of the simple branching tree structure. The pattern that we repeated so far was a splitting into three branches, but here we're splitting into two branches, bifurcating, repeating a little Y structure where the two arms are smaller than the base of the Y. Then the next Y is even smaller by the same factor. Then for realism, add a little wiggle and some leaves, which are like tiny branching trees. And you have a beautiful fractal, wiggly fractal. This is the same efficient structure that trees exploit to gather carbon dioxide. So essentially it's a very efficient machine for maximizing the surface contact with carbon dioxide. I did all of these plant simulations with simple code in Scratch, designed for kids. It uses just a little bit of code, but repeated over and over in a loop. You should also draw the branching so you learn code and art and math and science by looking deeply at nature's patterns. It's a simple process for nature and for you to create beautiful forms. Nature uses it also for great efficiencies and you can create great beauty with it. And we can create art forms by pulling in our drawing into Scratch and overlay it with some coded fractals like snowflakes and another little tree I wiggle in the background here. Now snowflakes themselves are little fractals. If you just take the branching structure of trees and repeat it around in a circle, six of them, you have a hexagonal plant-like structure which looks like a snowflake if you add the right colors. This is very little code that creates all this. But the code shrinks the pattern and repeats, shrinks again and repeats, so generating great beauty 